Yo, we are in uh, Speakeasy in Reseda. This is close to uh, Calabasas. We'll check this location out. Hit a quick chest day. Hope you all like the video. I know in the last one I said I might stop these, but we're gonna see how far we can push that. First exercise, incline chest. We're going heavy. First of all, warm up. Excellent chest day for beginners. So you can figure out how to get your swell on. Uh, you want to build a full, complete chest. So we're going to start with incline. We're going to warm up, uh, you know, like 15, 20 reps. Maybe two sets of a warm up. So typically when I'm hitting these, my warm-ups or whenever I want to do my incline, you get the uh, position, I like to put the weight or the bar I drop right down by my collarbone so I can hit my true incline. Really trying to build that upper shelf. Uh, Chris is going about, you know, south side shoulder part with his hands. This is about normal grip. Second warm up set, we went from 45 on each side to 35. This is about 205. Hit about 12 reps here. Then we're gonna get to our working sets after this. That'd be four sets 10 to 12, maybe 8 to 12. I might try to go a little heavier because uh, I am bulking right now. All right, now you know what the vibes are. Let's just get to the lifting now. So it's gonna be the same for all my lifts. A nice little warm up, good range of motion. So check this out. Now we are hitting two plates. Uh, my movements were more slow, controlled. So at this point now we're in the working sets. No need to like speed through that weight. If you can notice sometimes, I don't go uh, too far up or too far down. Keep a little bit of tension on the muscles until I start to burn out. Only other thing to note here is the uh, rest periods. Uh, typically when you go a little heavy, you want a longer rest periods, one to two, three minutes sometimes. Um, right about now, I like to keep a good pump throughout the duration of my workout. So my rest periods are pretty short, good burn. I don't want them to relax too much. I'm not lifting that heavy. All right, cool, time to D-Rack, move to chest blocks. So we started off with incline. Now we're moving to flies, just keeping the blood pumping. Uh, to be honest, uh, incline should be my main uh, chest exercise because it was one of my weaknesses. Um, but like anything, you know, sometimes you need to take a break from it. So we started with the incline, uh, get the blood pumping because it's still super important. Not gonna give it up, but not gonna uh, put the most time into it. Now we're going for a more full uh, chest when it. Uh, Incline flat and decline.
so we're gonna decline now. Uh, I recommend for you all, if you beginners, uh, start with a lighter weight, warm your way into it. Um, so you guys might be warm enough to jump into something, but definitely utilize it to try to warm up, uh, lubricate the joints. So yeah, we're gonna decline. We're at uh, four sets of eight reps now. So we're gonna go a little heavier. Actually, maybe more than four sets, depending on how I feel. Uh, scheduled for four, but uh, we might push six. Yo, so uh, the importance of hitting every angle of the chest. What you got for him? I mean, you don't want no fucked up ass test, do you? I mean, <laughs> that's of, the one of my problems, and one of most of uh, I think new gym people, beginners or whatever, uh, what you call what we call it? People that says new to the gym. Nov novice? Yeah, beginners. No, novice, beginners. Yeah, yeah. So like, I know for me, just like any other uh, young man or whatnot, we think of bench press. Flat bench, right? Yeah, flat bench. I wasn't introduced to incline, decline, and pec flies and all those different things until, man, it probably was my <laughs> third year uh, into working out. But nowadays, you guys got more Instagram and social media and stuff and people to kind of go to for that kind of stuff. But we was Us. Yeah, yeah. We didn't have, well, I didn't have so much of that guidance. I just kind of scanned out and peeked out the guys in the gym that was like slow and I was just, you know, catch them doing flat bench or whatnot, not so, all the other so, stuff. Sometimes that's a good thing to do, to watch someone who's probably like slow. But the only problem about that is like, they may be a little bit more experienced than you. So you've been doing moves that's more advanced, right? So if you'd have tried those as a beginner, some of them may be a little difficult. You might end up hurt yourself, tearing things. It's best to go and seek information so you understand uh, just the full direction of what you're trying to do instead of just copying people. Sometimes it is good though. Yeah. But uh, I highly advise, you know, just And another, another, thing, that, another thing that I did also uh, that I didn't do that I wish I had a done back then, it probably would have shortened the learning curve. I know a lot of you guys watching uh, maybe younger or shy or stuff like that. I was like very shy. So I would never ask questions unless like one of the guys spoke to me and I would ask. Ask questions, talk. You know, if you see like a, the, the big swole gym guys, they're not mean. Most of them are nice. Most of them. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not, most of them, yeah. But just, you know, they, cause a lot of the gym is like a, a social thing for most of them people because they don't, we don't have that many friends or whatnot, so. Especially people, right about now. Yeah, when you see like some of them people and then you like speak to them, they, you know, you light up their day, like, oh, like, uh, another person, like somebody's talking to me, you know? So, <laughs> you know, talk to them and ask them, you know, hey, hey, how do you, what does that work? What does this work for? How can I do this or that? And, you know, they, they'll share it with you. Yeah, you know, one, key, one key thing is probably that approach. Probably not, uh, don't approach them mid-lift. Yeah, 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 probably, wait till they yeah, say it over yeah, with and some stuff like that. Finish. Hit them with a, hey, excuse me, I got a question for you. I would like to ask because you look like you know, you've been doing this for a while. I'm trying to build my, you know, chest. I want to hit, you know, what should I do? Yeah, Keep yeah. it simple. Nothing too crazy. You get your answers. Yeah. You get your games. And you then, get you know, if y'all go to the gym, you know, with this person or whatnot, and you talk to him, you open their door, that guy may take you under his wing. He may, like, because a lot, again, a lot of those people don't have gym partners. Um, so, they, hey, he may say, hey, join me on the next chest day or whatnot. You know, that's what happened to me. That's why, you know, I got to where I, whatever, in a short period of time, because like, you know, I got linked up with certain individuals and they then gave me the free game. Yeah, buddy. All right, so let's get to this lift. Yeah, we'll do one more set of this. Then we'll go up.
I'm gonna stop it. All right, here we go. Flat bench now. Lightweight, 15 reps. So uh, machine work, machine usage, how do I feel about that? I love it, especially for you beginners because uh, it takes a lot of variables out of it, man, to be honest, it's just you and the muscle there. Um, it takes a lot of that stability workout. You won't lose any strength from it, you can only gain from it, but uh, I'm not saying do this only completely. So yeah, definitely something to check out, machine workers. Good for you. All right, so that's a wrap. Like, comment, subscribe, buddy. So love, that's it, it's free, just do it. Press the button, say something, it don't matter if you say something good or bad, just say it, man. Thumbs yeah. down if you have to. Yeah, you don't hear about LK, <laughs> you know what I'm shit. Talk shit on that tape, out. LK, you know what I'm talking shit. Talk shit on that tape, out.